The gentleman reserves. The gentleman from Ohio is now recognized for 20 minutes. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I yield myself such time as I may consume. The gentleman is recognized. Thank you. Mr. Speaker, this week is National Police Week, a week we set aside to honor the brave men and women who tirelessly work to protect us and keep our community safe. Unfortunately, their jobs are becoming more and more difficult, more and more stressful, and as a result, they need our support now more than ever. Over the last two years, violent crime in this nation has soared. Nationally, we saw a 30% increase in murders from 2019 to 2020, which is the largest increase during a single year in our nation's history. That troubling trend continues in 2021 with FBI data indicating that homicides rose another 5% in the nation's 22 largest cities over the already inflated levels of 2020. Overall, in those 22 cities, homicides are up 44% since 2019. Think of that, 44%. Not surprisingly, these disturbing increases have accompanying calls in many cities, including in my hometown of Cincinnati, to defund the police. Quite frankly, Mr. Speaker, that's the last thing that we should be doing during a violent crime surge. That's why the legislation that we're considering today is a welcome bipartisan step in the right direction. Law enforcement officers, firefighters, emergency medical personnel, and corrections officers are frequently called to respond to dangerous and often traumatic situations. As a result, these officers are at a greater risk of developing stress and trauma-related disorders. Studies show that public safety officers are 25 times more likely to develop PTSD compared to the general public. Tragically, more public safety officers die by suicide every year than those who lose their lives in the line of duty. And yet, trauma-related disorders are not covered by the primary federal disability benefit program for police officers, and that's the Public Safety Officer Benefits, or PSOB, program, which is run by the Department of Justice. The PSOB program currently provides death and education benefits to the family members of public safety officers who die in the line of duty and also offers disability benefits to public safety officers who become totally and permanently disabled. However, the PSOB program does not currently offer death benefits to public safety officers who tragically take their lives as a result of PTSD, acute stress disorder, or other stress and trauma-related disorders. This bill, H.R. 6943, the Public Safety Officer Support Act, addresses this oversight. This bipartisan legislation recognizes just how stressful and difficult being a police officer is nowadays. And it makes sure that those officers who have experienced traumatic events on the job and are struggling as a result receive the support they need and deserve. The men and women in law enforcement need to know that they have our full support and that they will not be punished or stigmatized for human emotions. And so I urge my colleagues on both sides of the aisle to support this common sense, compassionate proposal. And I reserve the balance of my time.